Hello team and uh, welcome to the uh, video Sunday message this week as I've got uh, several different things I want to cover here with uh, all of you as we uh, are midway and midway through the year as you might suspect but just as important we are midway through our pillar goals so I would encourage each of you to pull out the uh, company pillar goals as well as discipline division, campus, pillar goals, what have you, and just kind of do a check this week. This is kind of a short week with uh, a home office ER3 as well as a holiday on Friday. Might be a really, really nice time to kind of do some uh, checking and kind of planning uh, to see where we are and where we need to spend some of our time and focus. Uh, as I look at the uh, second half and prepare uh, the organization for what's ahead, I kind of have a couple central, uh, more than a couple I guess, but uh, some highlights I'd like to go over with you. The first is all the uh, new campus openings for the year are done, and that's a great thing. Uh, I think we can have two more uh, campus move-ins, which requires somewhat of a different uh, uh, approach, but at least those folks there uh, hopefully know the trilogy way and how we do things. Uh, we've got many of the department heads in place, uh, leadership team, etc. So uh, Greenville followed by the move into Ottawa around Thanksgiving should go much better. What I'm encouraging the team to do though is to go back to the all the campus openings this year and do assessments of where we are and how we're doing and implementing new systems how uh, things are running, uh, where our focus and priorities are, how are we doing to our goal sets, and what have you. No different than any other campus, but I think we need to pay particular attention to those systems that we know will cause us the most consternation if they're not being run. Secondarily, I think we have to assess our teams, as we all at every campus and every department should be. Do we have the right people there? And uh, we're never perfect when we hire this many new people. And I would encourage each and every one of us to uh, use the results and relationship test as we look at uh, our department leaders, our staffing, uh, what have you, uh, in each of the individual uh, new campuses as well as existing campus. That's always an ongoing thing. So take this time to uh, look hard at our new startups, make sure that the uh, uh, service standards, the clinical programs, all the financial things, and, and start with basics first. Uh, they can't do uh, everything at once, prioritize, and uh, then get, get them moving ahead. Likewise, I would encourage all of us with all the remaining things that we're doing uh, to use some TBV. We have seen some slippage in the clinical areas and, uh, and there are also a little bit of uh, financial surprises from time to time, but more in the clinical areas. Uh, and I think one of the big projects that we'll be doing uh, here to try to give us some more immediate relief is modifying our peer review process to give the appropriate uh, scoring so we can know where we need to be working on. The way the current system is being scored and graded, uh, campus can have systems out and still achieve like a 93% score. And since all the scores are bunched so closely, we can't really tell where we need to go. So we're uh, moving quickly. We'll probably have something by the leadership meeting to go over in this area. But uh, there's nothing like going in and inspecting and rounding and uh, for those new DVPs who may not be operators or others who are interested, we'll probably be doing some tr uh, training on clinical and other rounding to make sure that everybody understands how you can go in, how you can ask the right questions, and how you can review the right uh, output, if you will, and uh, we can be the very best operators in uh, this area. Then uh, the next item, uh, these are in no order of relevance, by the way, they're all very important, it is a still a strong focus to reverse what is a negative trend on employee turnover. And as I was contemplating employee turnover, I think we had to ask each campus every month to review the employees that left and ask some very simple questions and get some good answers and perhaps even exit interview. Uh, the first question would be, the person who left, would we still want them here? And then the, hopefully the answer uh, you know, is probably yes. Uh, then we ask, well, why did they leave? And that gives you your root cause on some of the turnover. Now, if we answer the question, no, we still didn't want the person who left, then I think we have to go look at our selection process. And while we're on that selection process and team approach works best, just a small commercial for the Simply Lead uh, which starts uh, July 1st on Tuesday, and I think if you'll pay attention to the uh, T-mail announcement, there is uh, some uh, rewards for those who complete that uh, the first. They're doing this to drum up interest, 
But I would encourage you to uh, encourage the staff and team to take quality time. Don't be in a hurry. We want to learn this uh, by doing and discussing and following the book and what have you in the online learning. But uh, don't be in too much of a hurry to complete it that we miss the message. So uh, let's uh, get all of our teams to do that and have a high degree of percentages, not only in department heads, but this is for preceptors as well as our mentors. So I would encourage all of us to uh, uh, support that effort. The uh, next item, since we're not opening a lot of new campuses, make sure we're taking this time to kind of look at what we're doing to support our campuses. And I know we're working hard in several different ways to, uh, you know, streamline things. I think it was a great thing that came out that key position. It's just something that small, uh, streamlined and automated, uh, makes us all better. And I know we're about 60% of the way in to our matrix transition and billing, so keep up that great work there. But all of us, we should be continually inspecting, and this might be an easier time to make some changes since we're not uh, devoted 100% uh, to new campus openings, just to improve our systems and how we support our campuses. Likewise, here at the home office, uh, we've had a tremendous number of new people hired into the organization. And I want to be certain that we're training everybody in the Trilogy way, both from how we do our business, but also culturally. Uh, we've had some negative uh, egos, uh, and it's not unexpected. We're uniquely different. And when you come to us, uh, uh, I think you might not believe us that we're actually serious about being nice to everybody and having great values. And other companies don't do that, and they have a certain method of operating things. So uh, you get a couple, a hall pass or two on that area, but I encourage all of us as leaders to stress the importance of all of our values in the Trilogy Way culture, as well as how we operate and how we serve each other in our campuses. Uh, very, very important to us. So take some time during this time period. We've got an ER3 celebration coming up and so forth. Uh, last but not least, I couldn't get uh, out of uh, mentioning this to you, but uh, census. And uh, it doesn't run well if we don't have census. We're right on the edge of what I consider we 97.5% uh, of our field budget. And uh, we have a 79-79 number. We're currently uh, well short of that. We're about 212 behind plan as of Friday. Uh, so I think if you uh, uh, can do anything in your power to support that, I know the operators are working diligently, but we know it takes a team approach uh, uh, from all of us to support census development and to make clear the uh, decks, if you will, and maybe to pitch in and help so that perhaps we can uh, keep moving up. I know summertime uh, typically uh, has gotten uh, slower. However, uh, we've bucked that trend in the past, and let's see if we can do that this year. A few other items here just to uh, kind of pitch here before I sign off. Uh, these are more related to the home office and what we're doing. Uh, Independence from Hunger, I encourage everybody to dig deep. Uh, and this is just a fabulous uh, uh, charity that we're doing. Uh, it's going, going very well in the field. I see lots of energy for that. I do it at the home office too. We had the great bake sale last week. But uh, think about stepping up and giving a little bit more than last year. Uh, this is a fabulous thing to do. We've, we've experienced success as an organization and we have a responsibility to give back. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we have our ER3 on uh, Thursday of this week out at Bowman Field at our hangar. And uh, I think there's a, lots of uh, great things going to happen there. The uh, committee has uh, gotten some good things. There's a top prize of a gift certificate for a voucher for Southwest Airlines. Uh, plus lots of other prizes, lots of other promotions and awards. I mean, we've been growing and giving those out. So there's going to be a lot of recognition. For those of you field warriors that can't make it in, we wholly get that. And uh, we look forward to celebrating with you out in the field and uh, so forth. But a fun time as we roll into the holiday weekend. Last but not least, stay tuned because we're going to be doing some uh, area, including the home office, uh, Friday afternoon trips to uh, theme parks. Kentucky Kingdom, Todd and the team uh, have been working to secure a reduced price for us in an area where we can have our own trilogy, and then they're now turning their attention to maybe a Cedar Point or a similar out in the field so that we can have a family day. And we're going to give away four free tickets uh, to every trilogy family uh, with a reduced price, obviously, for the remaining tickets. Uh, and hopefully have a very, very fun and festive event, all in the name of just rewarding our great employees that we have. 
And that's what makes us different. So anyway, as I close out, I'd like to encourage all of us to think about our jobs in the way of, of leading great things. And I know a lot of times in the field uh, or even at the home office somewhat, you hear from me in rounding positive and later in follow up, uh, I talk about getting results. I typically don't do that while I'm in the field. I just kind of take my notes. Uh, but you'll see that I do both. And I think that's very, very important for us. We can't miss on either one. Uh, it's absolutely mission critical that we think about our relationships and our servant uh, relationships to those in the field, those that we're serving at the home office as leaders. But then again, we have owe it to all of ourselves, not just to you know the organization, but to each of us that we ensure we get re uh, results as well. And so, just you know, keep those in a good balance. But you know, be sure that the people that you're leading know that there's an expectation to achieve results. I think there's not a doubt in, in anybody's mind that they're going to get that warm feel of the trilogy relationship. But we got to have the results part of it too. So anyway, great first half. I think we've got a lot of fabulous achievements to build on. Uh, but we have, a, we have challenges in the second half, including the fall phenomenon, customer service. Those of you all have not been around for whatever reason, I would say out of the last uh, 14 years, out of 10 at least, we've gone down in our fall customer service scores. We don't want that to happen. We want to set a huge all-time record this year after that fabulous spring uh, spring number. We also know employee service surveys are going to be coming up just shortly here in August, and that's another area we need improvement. That 418 score last time was not anywhere close to our best of all time, and I think we all know we can do better, and I think we know where we need to do, do better. It's clearly outlined, just like it is in every other area. We are so blessed to have these metrics and have these great reports uh, and this great information to manage our business. And then last but not least, let's never take advantage of all the resources our board has given us to run this company. I mean, think about it. We have nine divisions with nine great operators, two other operators to coordinate that, a fabulous COO on the operating side. The CFO, we've hired Greg Millers doing an outstanding job building a team. And the board has been extremely generous to attract in some you know, existing you know, new talent to go along with our existing talent, and we're building great teams there. And in the employee services area, we're merging our two teams together to build teams. And we have tremendous resources that other organizations don't have. And that includes all the other departments. I'm not forgetting any of you, clinical support, dining services, you know, our marketing teams, all the way along plant. Think about how blessed we are. And we are. Let's take advantage of it. Because if there's not one thing that I can tell you is our board is in 100% agreement that they want us to be the best healthcare company in the Midwest. So let's take advantage of the opportunity. We're on the way. There's not a doubt in my mind about that. But we can never let up either. And that's difficult sometimes, right? Boy, you just like to let your hair down. See, I don't have any let down. But if I did, you just like to relax. And that's what vacations and all those other times. You guys go when you're on vacations, relax, forget about everything. But everybody else is going to keep chugging because that's what our customers and our employees expect out of us. And uh, I don't have a problem with that. In fact, I like that. I like challenges. I like getting better. And I hope you share that same passion as we enter the second half. Again, thanks to everyone, each and every one of you, for you know sharing the vision, having that passion, and most of all, leading that way by example with communications and just letting everybody know that we're here to serve. Have a great second half. God bless.